Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start at Bitcoin at number one, followed by Ethereum, BNB, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, Tonecoin, and then we'll end it with Cardano at number 10. Let's get straight into it. Bitcoin against USD. Okay, so Bitcoin against USD, we have already returned back towards the skinny pink line. This means that Bitcoin has already started its bearish trend. So previously, we have been waiting for signs for Bitcoin to start turning bearish because things were already, uh, you know, <laughs> there, there was a potential for an inverse head and shoulders, right? We were expecting things to break higher for BTC, but uh, eventually BTC decided to head towards the skinny pink line. And once you touch it and you cross it, that's it. Bear trend starts for BTC, which means that uh, we should be preparing to open shots towards the downside. So uh, if we were to uh, look at BDC, right, uh, and wonder, it's like, mm, really? Uh, has the bear bearish trend started? Yeah. Uh, is there a possibility that this run could have already ended? Yeah. I started a recount of the waves again. So, you know, this could be constituted as a wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and then a wave five. Uh, and then this whole thing could be the next wave down uh, as in i don't know it could be an abc or it could be five waves down but uh, potentially this whole thing could be a wave two as, as we head towards a hundred thousand so maybe we need to consolidate a little bit longer first before the next move up for btc so if BTC were to drop where are the most probable areas of it dropping to uh, my again pure guessing is that we'll stop at around this noisy area so at around 40k lower 40s uh, if this doesn't hold there's just nothing here we're going to slide down from 40 all the way down to 30 right this is the next noisy area where we're probably going to find strong support and this will coincide with the 0 0.618 golden retracement ratio so as it stands yeah the moment you touch the skinny pink line that's it we're switching bearish and more likely than not, we will be blessed. Everyone will be blessed with a get out entry. And you might think that this get out entry is where you go long. You say, yeah, I, don't, I don't think so. This is the get out entry where you, uh, where I will probably be selling some uh, of my coins, right? Uh, there are many coins that are already down. BDC is just down, let's say from the top here to the bottom, 25%. A lot of other coins are down like 50%. Ethereum is down 50%. It's like, what? Yeah, so it's not looking good uh, in the markets. So we're just going to digest the reality of things turning bearish. Now we're going to go to USDT, which is USDT dominance. And you will see that everybody is shifting all their money back into USDT. So uh, this was the, the mountain range that broke the support. We came down, we hit uh, both of the targets right over here, 5.27 and we also hit 4.17. So both of these targets are already hit, right? Um, and now there's a strong rally back up. I kid you not, but this rally is also above the skinny pink line. So the bullish trend may have already started for USDT dominance, right? Previously, when we cross back above the skinny pink line, that's it, we continue higher. But again, it's not gonna be one straight line. We're gonna see a lot of ups and downs and consolidations as well before we hit higher. So again, I, I suspect that there will be a get out rally, right? There'll be a rally back up for BDC and crypto in general, but this is not, in my opinion, a long move. Depends though on the situation. There are still outliers that uh, have bullish uh, possibilities, but more likely than not, uh, things are already switching bearish. So the faster you internalize this, the faster you can put on trades for the market, as in shots. Uh, a lot of coins are also down, so uh, this cycle is a little bit different in that everything is moving independently. But of course, if BDC falls, everybody falls as well. Next one would be BDC dominance. So if you look at BDC dominance, uh, we are still anticipating BDC dominance to eventually head back under the skinny pink line, right? Uh, we're still expecting BDC dominance to do something like this eventually. Mountain one, mountain two, Mountain tree, descending triangle, BDC drops lower, loses uh, the share uh, of all cryptos. So yeah, but uh, now we are in a rally. 
Um, how much higher could we go? There's a noisy area over here. So my anticipation is around 60%. We're at 57%, so potentially a little bit more, right? But again, watch out for the skinny pink line. The moment you cross it, yeah, we're expecting it to come back down. So, you know, we were anticipating this to be the all season though, but it didn't come. <laughs> Everything continues to drop lower. So maybe a little bit higher, 60% first before we hit lower. Right, so that's BDC dominance. We're, we're still not entirely sure though, but uh, we are hopeful that this is going to happen. And this will be more likely than not uh, happening when uh, things are rising, alts are rising. Next one will be total. So if you look at total crypto market cap, we have, we've also crossed the skinny pink line. Previously, we had a head and shoulders over here. We were saying once you take out these highs, we will invalidate the 620 billion target towards the downside. So it's already invalidated and we've already completed a very nice valley. So we are in the midst of a second valley. So unfortunately, unfortunately for the second valley, right, this has to happen. So this means that more likely than not, we are coming back down. More likely than not. So where do I think we could go to? Yeah, noisy area over here, noisy area over here. Of course, there's another one over here. So watch out for these three areas, right? Um, yeah, uh, inverse head and shoulders. We had a target. Again, something like a squeeze. <laughs> Not exactly, but something like that. Uh, and targets have been hit over here. So 1.47 trillion has been hit. Uh, of course, we continue higher. Now we are in a correction. Again, also under a skinny pink line. So it's not looking good for crypto in general. So again, the faster you digest it, the, the better it is uh, that you know you can react towards the market. Even for total two, yeah, we've also hit targets over here, one trillion. And we are under the skinny pink line. So once you're under the skinny pink line, that's it. You switch to a bearish bias for everything. Absolutely everything. Um, total two drop to this noisy area over here. So you're seeing some sort of a uh, support, right? So again, I suspect there will be a rally, but uh, this rally will be under the skinny pink line still. And this more likely than not should be a continuation towards the downside for total two. So yeah, watch out for that. Watch out for that. It's just not really looking that good. Total three. So here we are for total three. Total three is really under the skinny pink line. Uh, so it's not looking good, uh, but to be honest, total three was the first one to move. It actually hit the skinny pink line first. This is what you call a get out rally. You might think that this is a continuation up, but uh, yeah, eventually we got slapped back down. And now we are at the noisy area. We actually hit it previously over here, way back in July. And now in August, we are hitting it again. I suspect we're going to cross this down into this small little tiny noisy area. And then the next area will be this gigantic one, right? Which will bring us to about sub 400B. We're at the 500B at the moment. So more downside is to be expected. Uh, we hit 600 billion. And yeah, again, both total one, two, three is expected to complete asymmetrical total three to be almost right can actually get a falling channel instead so yeah it's just not really looking that good it's just not really looking that good others uh, all the coins outside of the top 10 is also potentially completing a symmetrical right this is the absolute best case scenario for all coins um as in like we come back down we complete a wave c we hit the bricks probably at this noisy area over here at around 86 b Come back up, and then, pum, we break higher. True blue bananas alt season. But in any case, I mean, if this were to happen, right, it will be the next cycle. So, you know, this, this cycle's run has already ended. The moment you touch the skinny pink line and you cross it, that's it. It's already ended. So, yeah, it's just not looking that good. If anything, there could be a rally, but this rally, in my opinion, is a get out rally. All right, <laughs> that was a long one. Moving on to Ethereum, ETH against BDC. Here we are for Ethereum. We are, yeah, it's not looking good. ETH against BDC continues to drop lower, right? Um, ETH against BDC is anticipated to complete a potential wave C as well, right? This means that Ethereum could be doing something like this. A, B, C, D, E, bananas, right? But for that to happen, we need to correct. There needs to be a wave C. So we're coming down uh, to form a wave C. How much lower are we going to go? Not too sure. We're probably going to clear these lows here, the clusters of cells. So less than 0 0.03, potentially. Again, we're not entirely sure. 
right? Um, we are just, you know, still in a bearish trend. We've been under the skinny incline for a very long time, and we continue to stay under it. So things are just not really looking that good for FBDC. F against USD, we are, again, look at this uh, kind of reaction. We slice through the skinny incline, so internalize that the run is already over. And if anything, we are expecting a continuation down uh, towards potentially even 1,005, potentially. Clearing all the lows over here, and even this low, right? Maybe 1,003. Again, we're not entirely sure. Uh, there are no clear high quality uh, tradable chart patterns yet. So my assumption is, as the skinny pink line starts curving back down, uh, we're probably going to do something like this. We go up, come back down, bearish continuation. Head towards about 1,005 potentially, and then we come back up and then we complete the symmetrical. Best case scenario for Ethereum. So, but for, for this to happen, right? <laughs> we have to drop. So, yeah, be very, very careful about going long too soon. You can go long if you know what you're doing, but uh, I don't think it's. Uh... Oh, we're at 50k now. I don't think it's looking that good for. Um, yeah, crypto in general. So if anything, we're expecting a consolidation and another wave down. Right. Probably a bearish continuation for FUSD. BNB. Okay, BNB is one of the only few coins that's still above the skinny pink line. We're still above the skinny pink line. Hmm. So strong. We're still so strong. Um, sure, we were also aware that this was a something like a head and shoulders. So we were also anticipating the possibility of for BNB heading back under the skinny pink line. But we're not under, we're still above. So technically, we're still in a bullish trend against BTC. So Binance is actually holding its price pretty well against Bitcoin. BNB against USDT is still above the... Okay, now we're touching it. Previously, before I started uh, recording this video, uh, we were still above it. But now we've already touched it. So internalize the possibility that we're heading much lower. Right, um, noisy area over here. So potentially 300 bucks. We're at 422 right now, uh, but the thing is that there's no bearish chart pattern though. Like over here, there was a head and shoulders. You can see it. Right. Uh, there was a mountain range. You can see it. But over here, there's like... Um, yeah, it's not so clear to me. So it's hard to tell uh, for BNB. Solana against BTC. Oh my god, Solana is also almost touching the skin of incline. Right, Solana, the moment it touches the skinny pink line, that's it. We're more likely than not to head lower. Right, previously over here, we touched it. There was a get out rally, sell it off, bam, collapse. So the same thing will be happening over here. You touch it, and there could be a get out rally, bam, and then there could be a collapse back down. Sol against USD, not looking good. We touched the skinny pink line. The moment you take out the lows over here, we will be considering 271 as invalidated. It's invalidated. So that's it. Uh, we're touching a skinny pink line, but where's the chart pattern? Yeah, this is the one. Mountain, mountain, mountain. More likely than not, again, there should be a get out rally. So this get out rally, uh, more likely than not, will form into a bearish continuation as we head lower for Solana, potentially to 70 bucks, maybe. Again, we're not entirely sure, right? Uh, mm, yeah, there's a little bit of a noise over here, but I suspect we'll just slide down from here. Slide all the way down to maybe... Yeah, there's, there's a bit of a noise over here. So maybe to about 40 though. But I can't say for sure, right? I would love to see the completion of a higher quality bearish chart pattern first. Over here, again, head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder before we collapse, you see. So, but, but here, where's the head and shoulders? <laughs> there's none, there's none. This is not a head, right? A head has to be higher. If this was higher, then yes, this is a head and shoulders. But still, it's a mountain range though. So, more likely than not, more downside for Solana. You cross the skinny pink line, that's it. We're preparing for shots. XRP! Oh my god, XRP is another one. <laughs> XRP was bullish, but then it turned bearish. But anyway, XRP against BTC is also still holding its price pretty well against BTC. We are not exactly collapsing, right? We're still in the consolidation area over here. I suspect we're going to go up to the skinny pink line first. We may even cross it though. We get surprised uh, by, you know, Brad Garlinghouse. Uh, if we could rally all the way up here, oh, even greater. But as it stands, yeah, nope, nope, nope. We are aware, again, 
weekly reminder that XRP is completing a head and shoulders. So again, we might head higher, maybe to the noisy area over here, but I suspect we could be heading lower and then collapse. So be very, very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for XRP. XRP against USD uh, on Bitstamp. We have the data. So for XRP, okay, we, we were considering the bullish scenario, right? Um, and considering XRP to be completing an A, B, C, D, E. Is it still intact? Yes. Do I think that we are still heading up towards 160 and 610 based on the current market uh, price action? My answer is still yes. Uh, but could things go wrong? Yes. At what point will we consider things to be invalidated? Uh, take out the lows over here. Just take out the lows. Right. Uh, we may take these lows out as well though. So yeah, we'll probably slide down here. So clear of this. Maybe get some sort of a bearish continuation. Head lower. Clear these lows. Bam! Sudden rise back up. Something like that. Maybe. Again, we're, we're not entirely sure. So at this point of time, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're feeling hopeful. But uh, we're not going to be um, rushing to anything, right? Uh, we still need to see clear, clear uh, strength from XRP first. Doggy coin. Okay, Dogecoin is also not looking too good. Dogecoin against BDC. Oh boy, we're about to clear these lows. The moment we clear these lows, right, we're heading back towards this noisy area. Can you see this? It's a bit noise, noisy here. We're heading back here. More likely than not, there'll be 120s. We're at 166 at the moment. So, oh boy, it's not looking good. So, yeah, this could be the completion of the falling channel. Slow fall, and then suddenly, bam! We break. Right, but as it stands, yeah, no, it's bearish. So, watch out for Doggy Coin heading towards this area. But if we don't, hold at this area and we take out these lows right and we close below these lows more likely than not <laughs> oh my god so we could be heading yeah it's <laughs> the next noisy area is here so this from here to here right oh boy we could be sliding all the way back down as well if you look at dogecoin against usd right there is also a danger that dogecoin usd could be completing a descending triangle Bam! We hit lower. And there's zero, absolute zero support over here. Until one cent. So Dogecoin could be heading back towards one cent if we complete the descending triangle. This is going to be brutal, absolutely brutal for Dogecoin uh, as we potentially head towards one cent. So that's why it's important to have the skill of shorting as well. You don't want to be making money only when things are up. You want to be making money when things are down as well. So I suspect that uh, Dogecoin could be heading towards one cent. I mean, if we complete a very, 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 very high quality descending triangle, then yes, when this waiting one cent. So you got to be careful about rushing into Dogecoin. Yes, we are aware that uh, Elon Musk is involved, but the charts are telling me otherwise. Ton against BTC. Here we are for Ton coin. How is Ton coin doing? Okay, Ton coin is still above the skinny thing line, which is good. Just like BNB, just like XRP as well. Still strong against BDC. Any signs of a bullish reversal yet? No. Could we maybe clear these lows first? Potentially. Uh, yeah, nothing for us. Ton against USD. On gate, we are, oh boy, very close to the skinny thing line. Right, for Ton coin, we still have a target over here, $13.50. Um, the moment we touch the skinny pink line and we form bearish continuation, I think more likely than not, uh, this will be considered to be invalidated. So, yeah, be very, 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 very careful uh, about, you know, continuing long uh, with Ton coin. Things are all turning bearish. If BDC has already started its bearish trend, very likely Ton coin is going to start its bearish trend as well. Next would be Ada. Oh my God. Ada BDC has a beautiful, okay, let me just go to the weekly. It has a beautiful, beautiful potential ABCD. But it's very important that ADA doesn't take out these lows. The moment ADA takes out this low, that's it. This is no longer going to be a squeeze. Sure, uh, we could turn into something else like an inverse head and shoulders or something, but we, we cannot, we just absolutely cannot take out these lows. We can take out these lows, but not this one. So yeah, that's ADA BDC for you. ADA against USD is, yeah, it's not looking good as well. <laughs> Oh my god. So here we are for ADA USD. Uh, could ADA be heading lower? Yeah. Once ADA clears this low, right? And close under it, we're heading towards 16 cents. And potentially even 10 cents. So 
Oh my god, it's not looking good though. It's just not looking good. This is too fast for my liking. <laughs> so I suspect that you can just cut across. And you can see that this is also a potential head and shoulders. Heading much lower. Oh my god. So if ADA drops lower, very likely ADA BDC is no longer going to be a squeeze. So as it stands, as it stands, of course you don't go short over here. You still have to wait for the rally to come on. Right. Um, I suspect this will happen if let's say uh, you know the other candidate wins the election and then that's it. Worst absolute worst case scenario. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look good to me. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for any coin at the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great week. Play defensive and stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye.